Um, hello, everyone. This is um Math Tutor Kiv, and we are today we are dealing with sets. Uh, a good set of examples is coming from the March 11, 20 for English of Zambia, Fellowship One. Uh, this is it's just a set of examples I've chosen to use today. So the first question is having A as a set, two, three, four, five, B, C, and the universal running from zero to 10. All these are integers. And then <clears throat> verify, that's question one. Verify the associative laws for A, uh, the distributive laws for B, the De Morgan's laws for C. So how do you answer the question verify? To verify, you want to give evidence that these two sides are for sure equal. So you get the solution for the left-hand side and show that the answer you get here is equal to the answer you get for the right-hand side. So you solve the two separately and just show that the answers are equal. So now, let's get to A. So we'll pick the left-hand side, which is A intersection B intersection C. So have the set A, two, three, four, five, intersection. How do I copy B intersection C? We'll take the actual B intersection C. Get the elements that belong to B and they also belong to C, okay? So if we check two is here, but it's not in C. So it can't be in the intersection, okay? There is no two in C. Um, three is here, but there's no three in B. So four is here, and we also have four the other side. So we have four equally here. And so we'll put four here. And then six is here. We also have six here. So two can go anywhere. So we we'll have six here. So five can go anywhere. Eight can go anywhere. Okay, so we we'll have these two sets. So that now, what are we having? We get what is common now in those two sets. So again, two is not common. Uh, three is not common. Uh, four is common. Five is not common, six is not common. So we just get a singleton set. I've called it singleton because it only has one element. So we have found the left-hand side. So now we also have to solve the right-hand side. So we we'll get A, uh, intersection B, and then intersection C. So let's check. What is A intersection B? So we now get what's common in A and what's common, um, I mean, what's in A and B. So here we have two, we have two. So we put in the intersection. Uh, we don't have three in here. So three can go anywhere because three is only in A, it's not in B. So we have four, we have four. So four sits in here. And then we have five here. There's no five in the other set. There's no six in the other set. There's no eight in the other set. So we just have this intersection, the whole C. So what C? C is three, four, five, six. So again, we get what's common. As you can see, only four is appearing in both sets. So we have four. So now how do you conclude? So you say the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Hence, verified. Mm -hmm. 
So how do I verify? I just get the answer for this side, keep it, get the answer for the other side, keep it, and then compare the two solutions. If they are equal, then I would have verified. Okay, I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you enjoy that one. We now go to the other part, the second part of, uh, of A. You verify, now we're getting the union um, of A, A union, B union, C. So I'll first get B union C and then union A. Okay, so I may need to use a space. So I'll remove this one now, it's done. So now the other part of A, we get the left hand side, which is A union B union C. So I get A, that's two, three, four, five. Union, I get B union C now. So whatever is in B and whatever is in C. So I'll start in that order. Uh, so in in B we have two, uh, in C we have three, in B we have four, in C also have four, there's five in C, there's six in C, and there's eight in B. So everything that we are able to see, we put together. And then now, this will give us, we now combine those again. So we'll have two, three, four, five six, eight, so that is the union. Okay, so let's get the right hand side as well. So we have A, union B, uh, and then union C. So let's get A, union B. So whatever is in A and B, so we have two, three, four, five, six, eight, union C. C is three, four, five, six. So what's um, the union now? So we combine these two. So we have two, three, four, five, six, eight. Now we compare. These two are equal. Hence, verify. So it's a very easy thing. Just get the normal solutions. And then when you are done with each side, then you compare the solutions. Please don't do this at the same time. Don't do the left-hand side. Uh, you are solving on the left. You're also solving on the right. It will be wrong because you have nothing to prove them. Yeah. So don't this set this side. You are solving union that. And then equal to you are solving the other side as well. Then you'll be doing anything. So you solve them separately and then compare the solutions. Okay, so that's question 1A. We now go to uh, go to B, the distributive laws. Okay, the distributive laws. The distributive laws. So now, so I'm using the same spaces, that's why I'm ready. So the same now, we go to B. We have the first part. I get the left-hand side, okay, which is A, intersection B, union C. So I'll have A, two, three, four, five, intersection. We get B union C. Remember, we had gotten B union C in the previous question, which is two, uh, three, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, and then we just get the intersection now. So then we get the common thing. What is appearing in both sets? It's different now from the other one. So now we have two, two is common, three is common, Four is common uh, and five is common. That's our left hand side. So we have found this. So let's find the other side. 
the right hand side of the same piece, uh, which is now going to be A intersection B, a union A intersection C. So what is A intersection B? Let's get what is common in A and B. So we have two appearing in both sets. We have four and that one. A union A intersection C. So we have three and we have four and we also have five. They now get the union of these two. So we have the union is two and three a four, five. As you can see, these two are equal. So what have we done? Verified. So once I find the two solutions, I just compare if they're equal, if they're equal, and then I'll verify it. That's all. Do I draw lines to say verified? No. I would just be saying hence, verified. And because the two sides are equal. Okay, so this part, I will leave it for you to try now. At least you've seen what's going on. So this is your exercise. You try and see if you are now picking it. So try to do and see how it comes up. You must be able to enjoy it. Okay, so we go to part C now. A part C, the Morgan's law. So we we'll get the left hand side first. Uh, we have A union B complement. So what we we'll do here is we we'll first need to get A union B. So let me write A union B here. A union B. Uh, what's in A? or in B. So we have two, three, four, five, six, eight. Now here we want the complement. So the complement is what is what is not in A and B. Okay. But it's in a universal. So the complement is the universal minus what is in A? So now we'll go to the universal and write whatever is not in this set. That would be the complement of the set we are having. So we have zero is not appearing there, one is not appearing there, but two, three, four, five, six, they're appearing. Seven is not there, eight is there, nine is not there, and ten. So that is A and B complete. Now we want to check the right hand side. The right hand side. We need to check that A complement intersection B complement, A complement intersection B complement will give us the same solution as long as we have up there. So we need to get A complement. Okay, what's A complement? So whatever is not in A, but it's in the universal. So we have zero is not in A, one is not in A. So we have two, three, four, five, meaning six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're not there. Intersection, B complement. Again, zero is not in B, one is not in B, two is there, three is not in B, four, five is not in B, six, seven is not in B, eight, nine is not in B, and ten. So what's common? Let's get the common uh, elements now. So we have zero is appearing in both. One is appearing in both. Uh, six, no. Five, no. Seven is appearing in both. Uh, eight, no. Nine is appearing in both. And 10. Okay. So what are, what are we saying? We can see that these two sets are equal. We have zero, one, seven, nine, 10. Zero, one, seven, nine, 10. So this uh, is equal to this one. So we have done what? We say hence verify. We have verified that Morgan's law. 
Now, to verify it's nice, there is where it gets bad for the Morgan's law when they tell us to, to prove that the two are equal. The proving part is going to be bad a bit, but it will be nice still because you'll get the concept. Okay, so that's how you answer question one. Um, the whole question one. What have I done again? I've left this part for you to try. A good student must always attempt. This one is your exercise again. So see to it that when you get the intersection of A and B, and then you have its complement, you leave it at your left hand side. And then you get the complement of A, the complement of B, then get the union and compare if the answer you get is the same that you're going to get for the other one. If they're the same, ah, well and good, you will have verified. If not the same, don't force them to be the same. When they're not the same, it's okay, they are not the same. So you say, it's not working, but look, at the university here, when they tell you to verify uh, that that thing works, please be sure that it works. Yeah, so you must always get there correctly. You must always get there. Okay, so that's uh, question one. Uh, that's question one. Um, we go to question two. Question two is interesting because these are intervals. Now that's why I said it gets dense. That's why I said it gets nice. Okay. So I don't want to be doing much of long videos, but then maybe we should try to. Oh, by the way, um. These are live classes on, um, I do most of them on Zoom. So if, if, if you're interested in the live classes, uh, my contact is 0973-825655. This is on WhatsApp. So if you're interested in the live classes, uh, you can always uh, call me on those. Uh, I mean, on this line, you can even uh, drop a WhatsApp message even better because even if I was busy that time when you think of communicating, I'll still find the message. Okay. And then if you want physical classes, we have the Abundance Academy. We have the Abundance Academy. Wow, there are wonders here. We have the Abundance Academy. There are wonders here. So you find me teaching math. Uh, this month, 1120, you find me teaching 1100, you find me teaching 1110, you find me teaching second year courses if you're in second year and you have NMAT course, while wow, we're doing that, that's not the big deal. Now, in abundance, well, you also find physics or the codes, you also find chemistry. Uh, we have a guru there, a very big man doing this one, very experienced. Uh, Mr. Nond, physics, we have Mr. Jeff, very experienced. Well, we also have biology. These are physical classes. Very interesting. Now, if 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 um they are very, very even very cheap. Like when you do two or three or four, you find that it's very, very cheap. Like if you're doing one course. Oh, should you still want a one-on-one -on -one mathematics lesson? We still offer. I understand some of you are maybe you are three joined, or maybe you are doing engineering and things didn't just work well. You won't have that time to go and attend AV class. Wow, we are here. Okay, if you want one on one, we are there. If you want a small group, physical. If you want online one on one, or you want online physical, we are there for you. Why should you stress when you can do things for you? I mean, your job is just to learn and understand. Okay, so if you see that time is not on your side, you can always seek uh, to have the private lessons and the communicator will always respond. Okay, so very soon I'll be doing another video on question two. So just question one to orient you on how you verify when it comes to sex. Please remember to call if you want, or if you have any question. Okay, we'll have all the tutorial sheets answered, which is an A plus in the exam. Wonderful, have a good day.